This is the Argo float, a robotic buoy designed to gather readings on temperature and salinity from the depths of the ocean. How this thing works is it descends to 1,000 metres and then comes back up again, uploads all of its data and then sinks again. This will be one of a vast network of floats, transmitting their data to satellites to build up a dynamic picture of the ocean. The plan is to launch it into an area that's poorly covered by Argo floats to help plug a gap in the survey network. Here, some point. Here we go, one. That's working. Now it's turned on, it's programmed to be deployed in just six hours. Here we go. I can hear it. It runs in about sort of, say five, ten seconds and then stops. You can't put enthusiasm into projects like this unless you have some empathy and some interest in it. And I do. I really do. I mean this is a Yeah, there it goes again. <laughs> En route to the launch site, the 6,000 pounds worth of equipment must be kept upright while it makes contact with the satellite network. What sort of information is being collected in this? It's temperature, salinity and depth. Right. And then, of course, when it comes up, it's also position as well. The data will help scientists worldwide to improve climate change prediction and tropical storm forecasting.